Okay, and welcome everybody here in Twitch and also on YouTube if you're watching this later for our next deck, which is going to be Demir Midrange. This was a 7-3 list from the Pro Tour that looks um, really interesting. You know, we have a whole lot of one-ofs in the deck, uh, especially our, our one-mana spells. We have the one Dive Down, Spell Pierce, Dead Weight, Duress. Um, just kind of keeps the opponent honest. You know, if they see a Dive Down, uh, then they start kind of playing around more. They see Spell Pierce, kind of the same thing. Um, so, you know, we have a lot of ways to keep the opponent honest and everything. A um, couple other interesting cards that you don't see too much. You don't see Night Veil Predator uh, very much in Constructed. Um, so I'm pretty interesting to see how this card performs. Um, you know, like the the Hexproof and everything means can't can't touch it. And we'll see kind of how it goes. And then we also have Mesmerizing Benthid. Um which is a card I was actually kind of high on um, whenever I did the set review, and I uh, kind of compared it to Ishkana of you know previous format, like the the green mythic from Eldritch, Eldritch Moon that saw a lot of play back in the day. Um, but we also had Biogenicus in the same format, and and so kind of like the decks that I wanted to be playing Mesmerizing Benthid in, there was also just Biogenicus as an option that was just a better option. Um, but this is pretty, uh, it'll be pretty interesting to try this out here, um, in this blue black deck. Uh, we have some, Liz I like Lazav. Lazav, uh, doesn't do a whole lot in this deck. I think there's, there's two main targets for Lazav, um, because kite, copying Kite Sail, Freebooter, Chupacabra, Hostage Shaker, you don't get the ETB effect. So like those, those cards copying them don't do a whole lot, but there's Thief of Sanity to copy, which is awesome. You know, turning your Lazav into a Thief of Sanity is awesome. And then also turning it into the Night Veil Predator uh, could maybe get somebody with, like, you know, giving it Hexproof um, at instant speed. You can, you know, basically have, basically be able to pay four mana for a dive down uh, on your Night Veil Predator. So, like, you can, like, your Lazav can be a Thief of Sanity, and then they try to kill it, uh, and then you spend four to turn it into the Predator, and so to fizzle the spell, and then you spend three more. I know in this scenario you have seven mana, but then you spend three more, and then you turn it back into the thief before the, it hits the opponent. I don't know, some, some kind of cool things there. We have a murder, not a card we see too much over there. So yeah, a bunch of, you know, different, different card choices here. Let's try it out. Yeah, Benthid being a news would be pretty cool. Hey, Nikki B. Yeah, everything's good. Um, yeah, everything's good. Uh, my electricity was out from Sunday night to last night, so I went three days without electricity. It was pretty rough. But electricity's back on. We're back on here streaming. Glad to have everybody back here in chat and everything. Alright, this is what our deck's doing. So it is 228.19 today. Oh, it's Luca's birthday. Luka Doncic. It's his birthday today. He's turning 20 now. Still a baby. And I'm getting the um, YouTube video ready while playing here. Hmm. I think I need a discovery and look for land drops. Unfortunately, I, I need to get to... I need to get to four lands. To be able to play this hot, I need to play Hostage Shaker on turn four, absolutely for Runaway Steamkin. Either that or find um, a different uh, way to interact with Steamkin.
I know the freebooter just dies. But oh well. Right. Right. I should just play the predator. That's my bad. That's just my fault. Should just play the predator. Be tough to win that anyway. Alright, let's get these duresses, moment of cravings, murder, plague mares. I guess we're going with all of those cards. Um So Spell Pierce is like the kind of card that like um you know if we can actually counter something it's awesome but mono red can pay two mana pretty easily. But yeah, you're you're probably right the Thief of Sandy probably just needs to go here. Since the sabotage is not very good either, for sure. I want to take that out. I don't know. We kind of overload the shocks though with like freebooters and and everything. Benthid is pretty slow, but it does a good job of clogging up the ground. Thief of Sandy is certainly like a card that they need to, to kill. It's just when you're behind, Thief is horrible. But like if you're if you're not really behind, just playing Thief into a shock is, is not so bad. At least you're not getting shocked. Hmm. Do I want to spell pierce or dive down? Man, we do have a lot of removal. Alright, let's get rid of this murder actually. Yeah, that's probably fine. I don't really see... Like, looking at the deck, I don't really see how we're winning. We have a lot of ways to keep our opponent from winning. Especially without Thief. Like, how are we dealing 20 damage? Like, maybe I just can't take out Thief of Sanity. Uh, in that respect. Yeah, Thief is certainly better on the play. That is true. So do I want to take Viashina Pyromancer or Goblin Chamberlain? I'm not sure which one I want to take, Pyromancer or Chain Whirler. Pyromancer deals two on ETB, where Chain Whirler only deals one, and Chain Whirler also takes another whole turn to be able to, to play. I think I'm going to take the Pyromancer and just kind of hope to draw a removal spell for Chain Whirler. There's a removal spell for Chain Whirler. All right, I need to make a photo. Yeah, so I'm I'm definitely glad I I'm glad I took the pyromancer because pyromancer would have already dealt another two to us and then attacked us for another one here. Hmm.
Okay, I need to make the thumbnail for Hardy. Please don't have another one. All right. All right, almost done. I guess this is a way that we can deal 20 damage by with hostage shaker taking their things and it looks like we're dead Experimental Frenzy. Cards busted. Man. If I just had one more mana. I could dispersal the frenzy and then duress it away, or duress, take a spell, and then dispersal. But I think I'd go be safer and do the other way. Yeah. We're certainly not winning that game. I don't think this Demir deck is going to beat Mono Red too often. Just kind of in general. Mono Red looks to be a really bad matchup. Those games weren't particularly close. I really like this hand. Unfortunately, we're on the draw. This would be, you know, just even better on the play. But yeah, we got Freebooter into Thief of Sanity. And our opponent's on six cards, so. Alright, Schwagaronia. Yeah, I'll, I'll play that deck again. The Slesnia Control deck that we played before. I, I like that deck. I like playing that deck um, myself. And the games are, you know, super long. Um, but yeah, I'll play that again, some, like, this weekend. Got plenty of... Hmm. Do I want to cast down? I'll just free her. Got plenty of... Ugh, that's what I was worried about. Plenty of magic that I'll be playing this weekend. And so, yeah, we'll have time to play some Selesnya Control. Yeah, Thieves Sanity should be awesome for us in this game against an opponent with, like, no cards. No blocks.
Alright, we'll chip away the druid. And this game looks to be pretty over, but, you know, we never know. They could draw... You know, they just if they just drew, like, a Lyra Dawnbringer out of nowhere. We wouldn't have, like, an answer to it. They do have Trollbred Guardian in their deck, so I, I don't think they're going to have Lyra. I could be wrong, though. <laughs> I know, all these Freebooters. We have four Freebooters that can't do anything. All right, so moment, murder. Take out some freebooters. Just that, should I play Karns? Maybe I want to turn it to like a control deck and just play some Karns. I can see playing Karns. We can take out another freebooter and a dive down and a spell pierce and get those Karns in here. I like this. I'm not sure about Mayor. So, what we saw, they have like the one, they have the one mana 1-1 one, one cat the Plague Mayor would kill. I think that's the only card we saw, right? I don't remember another card that Plague Mayor kills. Oh, I, I don't, wouldn't think they would play March of the Multitudes. I'll play it over this Duress. Over here, though. We'll, we'll put one in. Very least, it's unblockable. Except for, I guess, they play some green creature. Doom all again. Huh. All right. Yeah, no, I, I like Plague Mare these days. Um, you know, with the more popular Mono Blue is, the better Plague Mare is. Yeah, so how's Freebooter been a playable card in multiple formats, but Brain Maggot has been forgotten about? I guess because... You know, you get that you get that second toughness, and you get the flying. The the big thing is you get flying to make the body kind of relevant. Uh, Brain maggot not having flying uh, means that the the body for Brain maggot is just not relevant, kind of ever. Our opponent may have had like a a zero lander that they meant to hit Mulligan and accidentally hit hit keep like the previous game, and then yeah, just kind of rage quit. I don't know. We had another mold of five, play a swamp, concede. This is telling me this is probably an aggro deck that kept a one lander. I'm going to sideboard like it's an aggro deck. Yeah, these are some, some good games. Um, do you think, what do you think the modern announcement's going to be? I think there's like a new modern set, right? That's what. So I think that there's like a modern announcement about like a, a new set coming out, like basically a new master set, maybe. I don't really know, but yeah, I don't, I'm not too big into modern these days. So 
So if we bring in Moment of Craving and Plague Mare, then, uh, you know, assuming this is like a, a, like a, maybe like a Mardu aggro deck, some kind of black aggro deck, what cards do I want to take out? Probably Sinister Sabotage. And I could see, I mean, I could see Freebooter not doing a whole lot, but I, I think I'm going to keep them in. Um, take out a Spell Pierce. And maybe I cut one Freebooter. Yeah, I'll, I'll cut one Freebooter. I like Contempt, even though, you know, Contempt's just a one-for-one -one removal spell at four mana, but I, I like how it exiles games life. The mulligan change change rule, like changing the mulligan rule is something that's going to happen at one tournament in at the end of April. Hmm. I feel like I'm supposed to mulligan this. I really hope Plague Mare is good. If, if if it turns out Plague Mare is not good against our opponent, it's just going to be kind of a waste. We have, like, the Field of Ruin should be able to, yeah, like, I I didn't think they were going to be monocolored. Uh, there's not very many monocolor black decks. So I thought the Field of Ruin was, was good for a, a blue source. Grace. Might as well destroy the Drowned Catacomb if we're going to be destroying a land. That looks like a reasonable one. Still don't have a second blue source, so we don't get to protect Thief, which is really unfortunate. Wow. Well, this that could not have gone any worse. Nope, could not have gone any worse. Could not have gone any worse at all. This isn't a. We need hmm. to move quickly. The fairy was not what I was expecting whenever we did our sideboarding before. Oh, hey, Holes, thanks for that res thanks for the resub there. And oh cool. So yeah, we played each other yesterday in ring. Yeah, I, I played a little bit last night. Huh. Now what? So I'm just gonna play this Plague Mare. To try to get like some some of the uh, the daily goals done whenever my electricity came back on last night. But yeah, thanks for the thanks for that resub there for the third month there holes. Let's skip to the good part. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know what we're playing against. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that I that I milled you out basically, and I do remember whenever you conceded the third that the game was over. Like I. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure if I remember the game correctly that you weren't gonna have another turn when conceding in the third the third match. Uh, 
Such a good card. Need that other blue source to be able to protect myself from these Nidig races. No time for a break. But yeah, yeah, you ran me over that first game with those Arc Light Phoenixes. I need to kill Teferi. So let's send four at Teferi. You just let me know if you're up for round two. And we'll waste another Chupacabra here. To be a chump blocker. So I'll chump block with Chupacabra, take three, go to two. I'm still leaving the Freebooter back just in case they have like removal spell uh, for Chupacabra. We have like the Freebooter to block kind of thing. Even though, of course, with having them both back, if they have removal spell, they would use it on the, the Freebooter. Also, Taker is not a May. If we if we play it, we have to exile one of our own creatures because we can't target the Knight of Graces. Do I need to give my opponent the uh, their Teferi back? I mean, I can I can double block. I mean, I can either just chump chump with Plague Mare and Chupacabra. So basically, this is where we're at. We're like chumping with both of them, right? I can throw the Freebooter in front of one instead. I can basically trade the Freebooter for a Knight of Grace. Um, and keep the Chupacabra, like, keep one of these things alive. So is it worth. Having both of these die, and we have Freebooter, and they still have the two Knight of Grace, or, or we double block, one of their Knight of Graces is dead, we still have a Chupacabra, and so we, we're like one and one, but then they get to Fairy back. Nope. Giving them to Fairy is just not what we want to be doing at all. Oh, great. Okay, so let's, now that we know kind of what their deck looks like, let's see how we can sideboard here. Um, hmm. I mean, I can see a lot of these cards being okay. Um, thing with Sabotage is back. Could certainly see playing Karn. Hmm. 
Freebooter is not a good card to be playing against Hostage Taker. Like when your opponent has Hostage Taker, you do not want to have Freebooter. Chupacabra didn't really seem to. Too useful. Now they did Plague Mare. Plague Mare didn't really seem very useful. We play a couple disdainful strokes. For Taker, Teferi, stuff like that. No, wrong card. Duress. No! Oh, I ran out of time. So I don't want to take out the Chupacabras. Uh, but I decided that way too late. Ugh. Decided that a little too late. So we should have the same deck we had for game two, unfortunately. Here. Um... We hope our opponent doesn't draw their Knight of Graces with us having cast down, you know, just all black removal spells. Uh, but I'm, I'm keeping the hand, even though our hand's really bad against Knight of Grace, I'm keeping it because we actually have our two colors of mana. That was, like, the big mistake uh, for game for game two there. My big mistake was keeping the hand that... Um, The hand that only had one color of mana, we just never drew the blue mana. <laughs> Civic Nexus. Give me that. Our opponent could kill our hostage taker and then they gain their Thief of Sanity back, but in the meantime, we'll have our own Thief of Sanity going, so that's pretty nice. So, like, if they kill our hostage taker, they're not killing our thief. But if they kill our thief, then we'll get a new thief, and so on. Ooh, baby. Alright, so we can see if we want to keep up. Oh man. Poor opponent. They very dead. Hey Contreras. Alright, two and one. Got to that two win plateau. Make sure we get our got our coins back, and we're we're continuing on. Really don't know why they had like that exile target artifact or enchantment card, whatever that card was. Really don't know why that's in their deck. Um, yeah, they're on some kind of budget deck. They they did have a couple of fairies and Knight of Graces and stuff. They got us the game two, but game one and game three were just not competitive. Alright, uh, we'll just play this island here to have the Spell Pierce available. Um, hmm. These cards are pretty good. These cards are pretty good. So Wilderness Reclamation and Guild Summit are, are probably the two I'm the most worried about. So I guess I'll take the Guild Summit for now.
the whole dead weight cast down and Vras's contempt. Not what I need at all. Especially the aptly named dead weight. So if I play Thought Erasure, it just gets spell pierced. I I want to play around the spell pierce. I don't I don't want to um have my spell get spell pierced. I think I can play around the spell pierce just fine, so let's just be patient on Thought Erasure. Okay. Um, so you want to pull the trigger on an Orzhov Angels list. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that the list that I played before would be the one that I would I would play. I don't think. I don't think I've necessarily made an Orzhov Angels list. I think all the Orzhov Angels lists I've played have been donation decks, to be honest. That's really annoying. Can we just get a land? This is really frustrating. Now, I mean, they just they just win this game now. They have Guild Summit going, and they get to pay for Spell Pierce of their own. these cards are coming out. Our deck doesn't really win the game at all, which I think is kind of a problem. Like, we freebootered away a spell, and freebooter attacking for one. Like, they were at 19 after taking all that damage and everything. I think that's certainly a problem. Our deck not winning the game at all. Uh, let's get Deadweight out of here. All these cast downs. I think I may keep some... Let's get Benthid out. I don't think we're gonna... Yeah, I don't think Benthid's gonna do a whole lot for us. Um, maybe Lazav? I guess I... Like, they're gonna have, like, some creatures. Like, they're gonna have Krasis. They could certainly be bringing in Ram. I think I want to keep in some removal spells, so I'm going to keep in, like, the Chupacabras and Contempts. Um, maybe Cast Down's better than Chupacabra, just mana cost-wise. Freebooter certainly seems like it's going to get swept up with, like, Gates of Blaze or whatever. Oh, we still have Hostage Takers, too. Maybe Hostage Takers plus Contempts is enough removal. So basically, pessimism. What I'm saying is, I, I don't have an exact Orzhov Angels list that I would absolutely recommend. Um, I think that that you know whatever we played before is probably a really good starting spot though, um, if you want to try that out and kind of go from there of like you know start tuning from there of like maybe if there's a couple cards you don't like, replacing them with something that you like more kind of thing. Niv Mizzet, huh? Let's 
Draw a Thief of Sanity. Thank you, deck. That's so kind of you. That's, a, that's actually the card that I wanted to draw. That was really kind. I got a Guild Summit? Oh, that's lucky. It's okay, we were lucky too. So I guess you, you get to be lucky, opponent. Unfortunately, those cards don't do anything for us. Uh, one of them's a donation deck. Good, good call. The Bant Familiar is a donation deck. Yeah, I I think some Doom Whisperers would be really nice as well. Um, Doom Whisperers end games. That's what our deck is going to be is struggling with is ending games, and Doom Whisperer does that pretty well. Oh, you're, you're thinking standards getting stale again? I'm still enjoying it. Hopefully, playing different stuff is going to help out. Um, hopefully, me playing different stuff here this weekend. So do I want to duress? Like, do I want to just play the ram, or do I want to, like, duress and freebooter? I guess I probably just want to play the ram. So that even, even if we, like, duress freebooter, they could still top deck a sweeper. And I don't want them to, to top deck the sweeper. Um, and then get their ram back. Yeah, there seem to be like five, six, seven decks that are like, you know, like what most everybody's playing these days. But that's just kind of how standard is, though. You're just going to um, face a lot of the same decks all the time. And standard. You know, it's not, it's never going to be like really diverse where you're facing 15, or there's like 15 good decks. Unfortunately. <laughs> yep, every game has a metagame. That's a lot of potential cards they get to draw. So we've only seen one Gates of Blaze so far. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine mana. So this is like seven mana if we do that. If we want to take that and cast it. I'm probably not going to do that this turn. So Hydroid Crisis is their only other card in hand.
<clears throat> so they, they get three draw steps here um, because guild summits. So, you know, they, they get their one draw step, plus they play a gate, draw two more. Um, basically, Gates of Blaze is like their one card that they can draw. If they don't draw Gates of Blaze, uh, we're, we're basically okay. You know, we can, we can handle the bigger things with the Disdainful Stroke. I found it. Donation saying I like your stream. Well, thank you so much, Wadey. I really do appreciate that. That's very, very kind of you. All right, let's take it. They drew two ablazes, actually. Let's take another ablaze. So they only have one ablaze left in their deck. They have one in the graveyard, one under freebooter, one that we took from Thief of Sanity. Oh, they get to canopy kill the freebooter. Duh. Well, oh well. Looks like we're probably dead. These rams. I should not have played that. I guess I shouldn't have played the hostage taker. I think playing the hostage taker before with like the gates of blaze was just a, a mistake. Yeah, mo mono red's not a deck that we play. You play too much these days. Um, I shouldn't have had. Spyglass and Ego in my deck. You know, they were like a, you know, like they're the Nexus Gates deck, but they just turn into the, you know, they just turn into like the Rams. Afterwards, like, you know, like that's like their post board plan. So I should have had some more cast downs in, in my deck. But I think if I just didn't play, I didn't need to play the Hostage Taker that other turn. I could have waited till. You know, we put them into finding the Gates of Blaze. You know, we're, we're saying that they have the three draw steps. Hopefully, don't find Gates of Blaze. But I probably still, even even at that scenario, I probably could have just waited and not actually hostage take it that turn. So we could have saved it. And, you know, like they got their ram back. So basically, that's how they got another ram in play. Um, so, yeah, the deck was okay. Uh... You know, Hostage Taker and Thief of Sanity are awesome, and Thought Erasure. Like, you have some really good cards. Hostage Taker, Thief of Sanity, Thought Erasure, uh, mainly. Cast Down's actually pretty good in this format, too. But these other cards are just really bad. Freebooter was not impressive at all. Um, you know, we just have, we have a bunch of other kind of 
random jank in the deck. Um, we never got to cast Benthid. Benthid would, would have been awesome in one game that we were getting beaten down by Knight of Graces, but we didn't have two blue mana. Um, that was just kind of unfortunate. But... Yeah, I don't I don't know if this is how I'd play a Demir deck. I was not very impressed with Freebooter. I think with Freebooter you really need a clock to put to put on your opponent because if so we saw with some of those games if you just Freebooter and you just take a card and it's just a one two and you just don't kill your opponent for another ten turns, they're just gonna kill your Freebooter and get their card back. And it's just you know, it's just gonna die to like some sweeper where it's just not not really a in effect, I think I think for Freebooter, you want to be playing cards that end the game quickly, which Thief of Sandy is a card like that. You know, even though the game doesn't end, like the amount of advantage you gain from Thief of Sandy is good. I think if you want to play Freebooter, I think you kind of want um, other cards like uh, what's the the Black Mythic from Ravnica. You want like Spawn of Mayhem to be able to follow it up. You know, like Freebooter on turn two, hit. I think like Spawn of Mayhem would be another card with Thief of Sanity that's a good follow up. And then, of course, a Doom Whisper is another card also. Um, like cards like that, like Thief, Spawn, Doom Whisper, things that, that end the game really quickly. Thief doesn't necessarily end the game quickly, but it you gain the card advantage, it's worth it. So, Freebooter is awesome against Mono Blue, yes. Uh, we didn't play against any Mono Blue, though, but yeah. Yeah, that's that's only a good spot for Freebooter. So, there we go. All right, that's Demir Midrange. So, if you're watching this later on on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. And thanks for watching. Let me update this to two and two. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.